Good evening. Adam is off tonight. The historic $1.28 billion jackpot drawing that everyone's talking about could make for some happy winners. It's the second largest mega million prize in the game's 20 year history. The last winner was announced on April 15th. Since then, the jackpot has been growing. Christian Garzon stopped by Worldwide News on St. Paul and Frontier Field earlier to get some idea of what people would do if they won. Christian, it wasn't what you were expecting, huh? Uh, Teresa, not really at all. The response is coming in. Uh, when I did the story a few years ago, people talked about buying a large house, expensive jewelry, escaping to Europe, the stuff you'd kind of expect to hear. This time around, priorities have shifted. Perhaps it was the pandemic, but folks are saying now if they won, the money right away is going to help other people. $1.28 billion. After taxes, it will end up being about $747 million, still a huge haul of cash. Today at Worldwide News on St. Paul, Susie Short up front says it's been a heck of a day with foot traffic. Oh yeah, a lot of people that don't even regularly play lotto are yeah. coming in. We asked folks what they would do if they won big. It wasn't about buying luxury items for themselves. It was about everyone else. Here's Rhonda and Royce. Help the poor, the homeless, I will try to open up doors where I can get a building to put everything or everybody, should I say, that's homeless in it. Take care of my family. I definitely get you under my church over on uh, North Clinton, yeah. you know, because uh, without them, I don't think I'd be here. Iggy wants to help his brothers and sisters in arms. I help my veterans. Yeah. Is that a veteran? Yeah. Um, all my family, my, uh, my best friends. Leroy has a prison rehabilitation program in mind. Give a little to the church. Oh, you know, you. And, the, and the group I'm with. Yeah. You know, I'm with the ABP group, you know. I turn it to violence and stuff, you know. Yeah. We try to help people out who come home from prison. For Prosper, if God blesses him, he says it's about making sure this area has prosperity. I'm going to open more companies to give my jobs to people. At Frontier Field, Ron Maggio said he'd get himself a game box here at the stadium, but his thoughts quickly turned to others. I would uh, definitely think of Wilmot Cancer and a few other charities. And I got a three-year-old grandson that I'm sure is going to want to go to college. Drawing should have just happened, so be sure to check your tickets, Teresa. I still got mine from earlier today. Fingers and toes crossed. Win big. Thanks, Christian. The Mega Millions jackpot is played in 45 states, along with Washington, D.C. and the U.S. Virgin Islands.